Well, today, Al AQIM, which is Al Qaeda Islamic Maghreb, an Al Qaeda affiliate in Northern Africa, called for the death of other American ambassadors and envoys in the region, specifically in Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Mauritania. For months, we have reported on the rise of Al Qaeda linked militant groups in these countries and others in Northern Africa. And now they're calling for attacks on other American embassies. This map, we like to put it up because it just shows you the, the spread here. But will these calls for violence lead to more attacks in the United States? Rudy Atala is the former director for Africa Counterterrorism at the Defense Department, and he is out front. Rudy, it is always good to talk to you. And, you know, this, this comes at a moment when we have heard that al-Qaeda is on the run. And obviously what we see now is groups that are sympathetic to al-Qaeda, linked to al-Qaeda, are not only not on the run, but frankly more powerful than the government in places like Libya. Um, are, are these, uh, are these, should we take this threat of attack seriously? Absolutely. I think we should take these, uh, these attacks seriously because although we're making headway in the AFPAC region, we have not made any headway in the North Africa Sahelian region. Right now you have new governments in Libya and Tunisia and uh, in Egypt. And frankly, some of these governments are sympathetic a little bit more into the cause or the lane of uh, the extremist elements. So when they, when they pose this threat, you also have a collapsed Libya that, that has um, uh, been a conduit for arms uh, pushing across the Sahel region. Now you have weapons and you have people who are sympathetic. It causes a big, uh, big concern for me, at least. And, and what are the risks that, that there could be attacks outside that region? When people in America try to say, well, is this going to be something that spreads? Well, there are attacks on Europe, attacks on the United States. Are these groups getting stronger? These groups are getting stronger, and they do have a fairly large presence outside of uh, North Africa and the Sahel. Uh, perfect example, uh, approximately 10 percent of the, uh, of the, the, the citizens in, in France are, are North African. There are some people there that are sympathetic to the cause that, that carry dual citizenship. So not saying that a, that a French uh, North African is going to attack, but the possibility always lies there. These guys are very creative. Uh, they find ways to attack 9-11. Mm -hmm. was a surprise to all of us, but you know, they, they came up with ways to attack us. And, and so we always have to be on our guard. Rudy, thank you very much.